I'm Kerry Fink with Helping Seniors Update, and yes, this is a Saturday. This is a different day. Normally, we do Helping Seniors Updates on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays to keep you up to speed on all that's going on around Brevard County, but we are here. We're celebrating Saturday. Today is Saturday, August the 29th, and I have the privilege of having Ashley Caswell with the uh, Hibiscus Court uh, assisted living and memory care facility and you guys have been great friends of helping seniors for years and you've also been a great friend of the helping seniors car raffle for years how are you doing this saturday i'm good i'm good um you know i'm so glad it's saturday it's been a nice relaxing day so far well good good and and but you know the clock is ticking because we are literally six weeks out from october 10th 2020 and I think you were the one who figured out like well if you say it the right way it's 10 10 2020 right. <laughs> because somebody is getting keys to a brand new car on October 10th 2020 and this is going to be so much fun and and Ashley as you know uh, I guess the this is actually the fourth year that helping seniors and Joe Steckler uh, you know this has always been one of the things he's loved to do is have these car auctions and car raffles that help support all the work we do, you know, and the first year uh, somebody had donated a, a, like a Jaguar and that was fun to give away. And then if you remember, uh, Mark was kind enough to open up the American Muscle Car Museum. And here we are with this beautiful 1951 Ford hot rod. And then they upped the ante the next year because AJ Hire says, listen, you know, I know I gave you a car out of my personal collection, but maybe people want a new car. And so we were able to let the winner choose from among three cars. But this year, fourth time, we're up to four cars. This is getting pretty cool. It was really cool last year watching her her name be drawn and just seeing her face and realizing that like it was hers and she got a brand new car. I, I think it took about 10 minutes for it to set in that she had actually won. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was there was footage of that. And it was so funny because I remember thinking like I was telling somebody the other day, I said, you know, there was three cars to choose from. She wanted to pick the Dodge Challenger and she wanted that car, the one that they had brought down, that exact car. She said, no, I want that car. That's the one I want. And so we're laughing. If you if you hear somebody zipping up and down US one in a bright red Dodge Challenger, that's probably her. <laughs> I, I, I've seen her. She's come to Hibiscus since then. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it just proves and it was so, you know, people go, well, do people actually win these things? And there you are. You know, it was so funny because I remember when uh, Mark was standing up there and he's reading the tickets and he did it really like great, like a show person would do. He was like, okay, the first number is, you know, and I don't remember what it was, but get down to the end of the numbers. And he calls out that last number and she's just like, has this look on her face. Like, I can't believe this is me. Yeah. And it's, it's awesome that someone's going to have that experience again in just a, you know, a couple weeks. weeks. Um, I'm really excited to be, you know, part of the team that gets to, Give away a brand new car. <laughs> and, you know, I was, I was thinking about your backdrop, too. That's a photo of the American Muscle Car uh, Museum that's behind us. And that's always one of the fun parts about this. Uh, Mark's got a collection. I don't know. It must be 350 plus cars out there. And, you know, I'm not a car expert, but it is so impressive when you get to see what he's got in that room. Yeah. Yeah. There, there are not words for it. I have yet to see anybody who's not absolutely impressed and amazed when they first walk in. So. Yeah. And so one of the things is the deal with the Helping Seniors car raffle tickets have been, uh, this is the number one way. People often ask, well, how does a, uh, uh, how does a nonprofit organization support its work? And uh, a lot of times people think, well, they get all these government grants and things like that. It really doesn't happen uh, for Helping Seniors. And, you know, we're going into our 10th year now of serving Brevard County with the Senior Information Helpline. That's our number one service, I guess you would say, as a charitable organization. We've helped uh, more than 3,200 families now, uh, free of charge, by getting them connected to resources and things that help. And Ashley, as you know, because you, you really know this space, we, we get calls, all sorts of calls. I mean, it's medical, it's financial. Kim Bernard in our office today, was literally helping somebody who's got an eviction situation coming up at the end of the month. And, uh, you know, it's amazing because of who they know and how they know to connect things. A lot of times they're able to move heaven and earth, it seems like, to get something to move in the right direction for somebody, you know? 
Yeah, it's really important to have that resource for seniors because a lot of times seniors, even if they need help, they're not going to ask their family. Um, they're going to try and do the best that they can do. But when they have a resource like um, helping seniors, they're able to to do more on their own. Um, and you know, really. You know, and then the other thing is people say, well, okay, so is it like a referral line that you guys do? You know, you call up and you get a number. And, you know, a lot of times I wish it was that simple, but but a lot of times I've seen uh, Kim, I've seen Joe uh, literally make dozens of phone calls to try to get somebody connected to something that's going to make the correct difference for them. And that is priceless. You know, uh, it's it's a lot of times, you know, if you have resources, you have a lot of options. If you don't have resources, you really uh, need all the help you can get. But sometimes it's more a function of knowing who to call to get the right help because some things you just, you know, some things you just flat can't buy. You, you know, it's just some, it's a question that you just need some real expertise to help with. And that's why I think the work of helping seniors is so important. It's also one of the reasons I really appreciate uh, all that you guys have done from Hibiscus Courtside just to, to help us because you understand the importance of taking good care of seniors more than probably as much as more than anybody else does. In fact, just for a moment, I want, do you mind just sharing for folks that may not be familiar with Hibiscus Court, just a moment about what Hibiscus Court is and why you guys uh, really are a great resource in this community. Yeah, so Hibiscus Court actually just celebrated its 22nd anniversary um, so it's, it's been here for a very long time. We are, um, a, an assisted living and memory care community, but really it's just senior apartments with assistance if people need it. Um, but it's a big sense of community and connectedness and resources and services. So, um, it's really there to take care of our seniors and to provide, you know, a big social network for people who otherwise would be at home alone and, and isolated. And you guys have always been so great and community-minded. community minded. I know you, you serve as our, our home base for uh, the business-to-business -business networking group, Golden Providers, that gets together, or at least when it's allowed to get together in person at, at you know, to help us uh, people who are serving seniors in the community stay connected. And then you've also always helped Joe uh, in, in all the days of, of, of helping seniors. So really appreciate that. But then also, I really appreciate you for being willing to help us get all the things going for the car raffle, because as a small organization, we really depend on people who are willing to take the time and help us along. And you, you have been so gracious every year we've come along and, and normally we're putting together a big party and we've got to figure out food and things like that. Now this year on October 10th, uh, obviously, we still want everybody to stay safe and be safe and not take any unnecessary risk. Um, actually, that's one thing I've seen in talking to people who are connected to helping seniors. It does seem like when we take all the CDC precautions the right way, we're able to stay safe. And it seems like when you ignore those, that's when we can get in trouble, right? Yeah, you know, it's just it's just really as easy as wearing a mask. <laughs> <laughs> and social distancing. And uh -huh. despite the apparent size of the, uh, you know, when I, when I go into uh, the American Muscle Car Museum, I mean, to me, it's like three aircraft hangars or something pulled together, you know? It's huge. And you would think we would be able to social distance, but still the governor's restrictions at this time, I think you can't have more than a group of 50 people, right? And so yeah. prudence and doing the right thing for seniors means we're going to do this event virtually on October 10th. So we're going to do this by Facebook Live. We're going to do this via YouTube Live. And we're going to even have a way that you can zoom in to the meeting if you'd like to do it that way. And we're going to be there throughout the day on October 10th. And uh, Ashley, we're going to bring in a bunch of guests and people, people who supported helping seniors. But we have to obviously space it out so we don't go over the numbers. But the nice thing about this is that um, Mark Pylock, has kindly said, listen, you know, I want people to have the experience of coming to the museum. So I'm going to work with you guys and, and give you uh, at least three make good dates so that you, people who have those helping seniors car raffle tickets will be able to come by and tour the museum absolutely free of charge, included with their, with their ticket that they get for the helping seniors um, car raffle. But he goes, I'll even spring for the uh, pizza and soda and stuff like that so everybody can have a nice relaxing time. Uh, as soon as the governor lets the restrictions relax enough that we could do that. 
So you're going to be able to, number one, visit with us on October 10th and, and just check out some of the amazing vehicles there because that is the location for the car raffle drawing. And then number two, you are going to get to visit it as we go along. So it's going to be a lot of fun coming up in all cases. Yeah, and, and I'm sure we'll make sure that the the content on the 10th and leading up to the 10th is um, worth watching. Um, I'm excited to learn a little bit more about all of these cars in detail. Um, you know, when you visit the museum, you don't really get to see all the stories behind it. But I've been on a personal tour of the museum with Mark before, and there is some history, and it's all in his head, and he knows the backstory of all of these cars. So, um, you know, if we... If we're able to get some of that from Mark and his team, it's going to be great. Yeah, that's really going to be the fun part. You know, I not being the car expert, I had so much fun. I mean, there's beautiful Porsches. He's got, you know, Mustangs. He's got uh, every Camaros. He's got every kind of uh, muscle car you think. But I, one of the things that I thought was so funny and cute was he has some like straight off of the dealership lot cars that weren't necessarily muscle cars. But I remember seeing a 1970, I think it was a 1973 Chevrolet Vega. It never hit the highway. It has eight miles on it. And it was like the day, you know, the day it showed up on the showroom floor. So there's so many neat things that he's got in there. And you're right. If, if they'll help us uh, showcase maybe some of the fun things to see. So you may see it first on TV, but then you're going to get an opportunity to come by later and explore the whole place in person, have a relaxed afternoon there. He was talking about, uh, opening up for the whole day. So, you know, you can come and go as convenient with you on those days and it's just going to be fun. So one of the things I do want us to talk about uh, before we close up on today is let's talk about the cars themselves. Now, uh, Ashley, we put up ju uh, just for fun survey on the Helping Seniors website. So if you go to helpingseniorscarraffle.com, helpingseniorscarraffle.com, you'll see a link and you can take the survey and it's just for fun. It's non-binding. You can change your mind if you win the car on the 10th and pick whichever one that you want. But we put the four cars up there and have you had a chance to vo vote on that yet? I didn't. Can I vote right now? Um, my vote is the Camaro. <laughs> well, would you believe, so, so, so far, would you believe what the number one car is? Mm, the Challenger? Would you believe it is, in fact, the Chevrolet Camaro? It is. So when I looked at it earlier today, it was 31% had voted for the Chevrolet Camaro. Now, we're in political season. So, you know, whenever they talk about polls and things like that, they always talk about the margin of error. Well, mm -hmm. it is neck and neck. Guess what number two is? You already said it. It's the Dodge Challenger. It's got like 29%. But I would say that probably is arguably margin of error. So they're both kind of tied for number one. And it might not surprise you, but the Mazda Miata, which is a pretty fun little car, is right up there too. I think it's got 27 or 28 percent. And the Kia Sportage is coming along too. There's a lot of people who are preferring the practicality of that crossover vehicle. It's got space for all your stuff and it's fun. So there's a lot of people like that too. But uh, definitely up at the top front, those two, it's, it looks like it's a Chevy versus Dodge uh, kind of race. So, you know, I almost wonder if there's like a, you know, they always talk about like football rivalry. So I wonder if there's a thing like that that goes on with these cars too. I certainly agree with the Camaro being the number one choice. So, <laughs> so we've got a lot of fun things planned on the way to this. And so, uh, Ashley, let's go over the tickets. Uh, you've got the information about getting the tickets. Uh, so do you want to share that? Um, the tickets are available online um, for purchase. It's one for $25 or five for a hundred. And again, the tickets um, are for the car raffle, but they double for an entrance to the car museum at a later date. So, yeah. Um, so e each ticket is an admit one. So if you got like a, you know, you want to get some folks up, a good thing to do is get that ticket bundle. So then you can, you not only do you have five chances to win a car, but you also have can bring five folks down to the museum on those make good dates. So we're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to be hearing a lot about this over the next uh, next few weeks because uh, we're down to six weeks until somebody picks up a brand new set of keys to a brand new uh, car. And, you know, uh, the saying, Ashley, is you got to be in it to win it. So uh, I, I'm going to actually ask you to make like a, a plug for getting people to say, do it this weekend. Go ahead and get your muscle car tickets. Yeah. So we need to buy them now. Um, get your get 
buy your muscle car tickets for yourself. They make great gifts for your friends too. Um, you know, and if, if you want, you can keep the tickets and keep the car if you don't feel like giving it to your friends at the end of the day. So, um, <laughs> That's right. Don't tell them you're going to share your tickets and take them to the muscle car museum until you find out that you do have one of the winning tickets, right? <laughs> so helping seniors car raffle.com helping seniors car raffle.com or you can call Kim in the office. If some people like to say, well, I'd rather do my credit card over the phone. Fine. Give, give Kim a call 321-473-770, 321-473-770. And actually there's one other way people can get their car tickets. They can pop by any of the Boniface hires dealerships and they'll be glad to get you set up there as well. So you can be spotting out and see what these cars look like in person and get your tickets right there at any of AJ's dealerships. So it's going to be a lot of fun coming up. I look forward to it. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Ashley, for sharing your Saturday with us. And thanks for all you do to help us in helping seniors. And we will uh, be seeing you soon at the American Muscle Car Museum and places around town.